If you haven't made mashed potatoes in your Instant Pot yet, you are missing out. Once you go to your Instant Pot, you are never turning back. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make mashed potatoes in your Instant Pot today. Cooking with Carly. That's the music. What is up, you guys? It is Carly here, and you're officially cooking with Carly. Today we're talking all about mashed potatoes in your Instant Pot. This is one of my favorite things to make in my Instant Pot because it is so easy and you don't have to babysit your Instant Pot like you usually would on the stove. No like foaming, boiling over mess. I know what's happened to you. It's happened to the best of us. But this is a perfect first recipe. So if you are brand new to the Instant Pot, try mashed potatoes because it is no more complicated than the water test that you've already done. And if you haven't yet, check out my water test video. It'll teach you how to do it. It's no more complicated than boiling some water. You just have to peel and cut your potatoes. And guess what? There's no way to mess this up. You are just mashing them. So let me let you on a little secret. There's no way to overcook these things. Seriously, you cannot mess up Instant Pot mashed potatoes. Another reason why I love using the Instant Pot for mashed potatoes is around the holidays. Did you know that you can cook up an entire five pound bag of potatoes in your Instant Pot at the same time and they're like done like under 30 minutes and you don't even have to worry about them and then you can mash them and put them back in your Instant Pot, turn it on warm, you've got warm taters until Thanksgiving dinner is served. <laughs> Today, however, it is not Thanksgiving and just my little family will be eating these. So I'm not going to make the whole five pound bag, but that's the magic of the Instant Pot and this recipe. You can use this method and timing for one potato or five pounds of tomatoes. I'm just gonna disappear here. <laughs> tomatoes, that's what Chase always calls tomatoes, so he calls them potatoes. Wow, okay or a big five pound bag of potatoes. Nothing changes, everything stays simple. I'm just going to use like five or six pota potatoes. Wow, I keep like thinking I'm gonna say tomatoes. I'm just going to use like five or six potatoes today for my little family. So I'm going to wash these up, peel them, cut them. I'll be right back. Gonna like get some like little footage and you can put some music. So I do need to tell you too, you don't have to peel your potatoes if you don't want to. I just have some particular taste buds in my family. One happens to be sitting behind the camera right now. Um that really don't like skins on their mashed potatoes. But if you like your mashed potatoes rustic, skins in. You be my guest. You go right ahead, leave those skins in. While I'm finishing up peeling these potatoes, do me a favor, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell, and like the video too, comment below, you know, all the things helps my videos reach more people. That could use my help. All my potatoes are peeled, I'm gonna go give them a quick rinse in the sink and then we will cut these potatoes up. Now as I'm cutting up these potatoes, I'm going to toss them into my steamer basket just because it makes things easier. I can just pull it out and then dump the water, the excess water out. If you don't have a steamer basket, no stress. It just goes right into the water and then you drain it into a colander like you usually would from your stove top. You don't need to be too precise or anything with cutting up your potato. They just need to be in approximately the same size of pieces. We're going to cook the potatoes for six minutes, so you don't really want anything bigger than this or else it won't cook and be all that mashy. So I'm just gonna roughly chop these up and toss them into my steamer basket. Wow. 
The strainer does make things quite a bit easier. So if you want to pick one up, I'll leave a link for that from Amazon. That's where I got it um, in the description below. And if you want a nice printable version of this recipe, you can head into the description below. The link is there. Our potatoes are all chopped up. So all we need to do now is add some water to the Instant Pot. The recipe says two cups. That's for if you are using without a steamer basket, you want enough water you know, with those potatoes to get it all boiling. But since this will be above the water, you can get away with just one cup and it'll actually come to pressure faster that way. So I'm just going to eyeball about one cup in here, measured out to pop in our potatoes. We're going to cook this at high pressure for six minutes with a quick release. If you need more information on what a quick release is, you can go, go to my quick release versus natural pressure release video. You'll learn all about it. So I'm just going to hit manual here and then it's at six minutes. Just the top to ceiling and I'm just going to let it do its thing. The Instant Pot has cooked our potatoes for that six minutes. I've quick released the pressure, let all the pressure out, turn it off for now. So let's take off our lid. And because I have the steamer basket, all I have to do is lift out and pour it into my bowl here. But if you need to drain, head to the sink and drain your potatoes. It will be hot, so be careful. Pour those in there. All right, now this is where your creative liberty. Do you see all that steam? Oh, they are hot. <laughs> okay. This is where your creative liberty gets to run wild. Doctor up these mashed potatoes however you want to, exactly how you usually do when you make them on a stovetop. I'm admittedly kind of boring when it comes to my mashed potatoes. Just use butter, a little bit of milk, and salt and pepper. How about you tell me in the comments below how you doctor up your mashed potatoes and maybe I could venture out next time I make them. But today, I'm just sticking with the basics. Like I said, I'm just going to put some butter in here, splash of milk, salt and pepper, and then give it a good old taste test, you know, see what it needs, a little more salt, a little more milk. The key though is to start with a little liquid and add to it. You don't want paste. Too much liquid and over mixing creates a paste. So go slow, add that liquid slowly. Okay, I'm doing a quick taste test. I love mashed potatoes. Need some more salt. So the consistency is good. It is going to be the perfect bowl for my gravy. All right, mashed potatoes are done. So easy. I'm just going to put them into a nice bowl, maybe add a little extra melted butter, and then some gravy. Then I'm gonna be eating some lunch. There you have it, folks. Our mashed potatoes are done. I can't wait to dive in and eat them. They are fast, they're easy, they're creamy. No babysitting a pot, no wondering about if it's going to like boil over, you know, that nightmare. Instant Pot mashed potatoes are the bee's knees. You've gotta make them. <laughs> I kept a straight face long enough, didn't I? Okay, these mashed potatoes are like, great on their own. I just can't wait for that gravy to be done. I'm gonna go crazy. These mashed potatoes are so creamy. <laughs> Name that movie. Name it. <laughs>